guys, welcome back to my channel. So I was recently at Target, what's new, and I saw that they have a new clothing line called Wild Fable and I was really, really impressed by it. So I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that I got. So I tried on a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I was going in there just to return some things and I ended up spending a really long time in there and bought a lot of stuff. So. I tried on some stuff that I will show you. Um, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to piece all of this together, but I did try a bunch of clothes on in the dressing room. Some obviously worked, some didn't, and yeah. So this is what the brand looks like. It is called Wild Fable, and it is more of like a, how would I describe it? Let me see if Target has a description online. So what Target describes it as is a trendy, retro-inspired women's clothing for every look, for every story. And yeah. So all of this stuff is really, really cheap. Um, I have noticed a little bit with some of Target's stuff recently that it's been getting a little bit more expensive. Like, don't get me wrong, I love A New Day and all of their in um, Universal Threads and stuff, but like their stuff is getting a little bit more expensive. So I was really glad to see the prices of these things are all really inexpensive. So let's jump in. Okay, so the first things I wanna talk about is their jewelry. So I got these hoop earrings and they were a whopping $6. Um, which I think is a really good price now. Um, they are nickel free, which I really like because I have super sensitive ears and you can even kind of tell this one's pulling a little bit. <laughs> um, so I have these like weird little things that I wear with earrings um, that will help this stay up more, but um, they're pretty lightweight. Um, they're like hollow and yeah, I think they're really cute. They had a bunch of um, earrings. I just don't wear earrings like change my earrings frequently enough for me to think that it was worth it but they were so cheap um and then I got this necklace for ten dollars and it is this really pretty a necklace that has one two three four layers and one chain some of them were like layered necklaces that each had their own individual chain but this is this is the one that I liked the best. There were some other ones that were a little bit more trendy. Like I know a lot right now, the um, like religious looking necklaces are pretty trendy. And, but I, it's just not necessarily my style. Um, so I just got this one instead that is now all tangled up. I really like this bottom little piece. It has like some iridescent little colors in it. And I really like the color of these, um, little ball things. I think they're very pretty. Um, and then I also got this top, which um, for the rest of this stuff, I'm gonna stand up and show you while it's on, just because, I don't know, I feel like sometimes just being like, this is the shirt, is just not as fun as actually seeing it on. So I'm gonna switch angles real quick. Okay, so here is this first top. Um, I'm wearing it with these pants that I got that are not from the Fable line thing, but I'll show you them in a second. So this top is a like little wrap top and it is connected right here. So you're not gonna like fly open, but my target didn't <laughs> have my size. So this is actually a large. Um, so I'll probably end up exchanging it if I can, but I honestly don't think that it fits that bad. Um, I just think it's super cute and you could wear like a tank top underneath it if you wanted or like a bralette. It's got this really fun like striped pattern and it's got a little bit of ribbing to it but I just thought it was super cute and even though they didn't have my size and it was $14. And this next top I think is actually one of my favorites. It was $12 and it is just like this tank top and it goes up a little bit on the sides but like not too much as to where it's like like a lot because I don't love like a whole bunch because then like it's like you're covered in the front and in the back but then it's like your love handles are showing and no one wants that. So it is this like kind of like 
satiny. I don't really know exactly how to explain it material. And then it's just got this front. It's actually like double layered kind of in the front. And it just kind of like hangs. I don't really exactly know. Like you can kind of mess with it if you wanted, like make it more straight or like make it kind of like pucker more. I think it's really cute and could definitely wear it like going out or something. Or if you put like a cardigan and some jeans on, you could definitely wear it to like class. So I think that it is super cute and I don't know, just like super flattering. And it's like this really pretty mauve pink color that I really like for this season. So this next top is just a plain black, like kind of cami. It's a little bit cropped. Um, there's my belly button. And so like if I were to wear like normal pants, because these are sweatpants, um, it would come like right at the line. This was $7. So it's a little bit like more expensive because there was one that was like kind of similar to this, but more of just like a t-shirt. It was $3, which I was so surprised to see that. But this is really pretty. It has a nice like V neckline. And then it's got these really cool like um, double straps that I really like. It just kind of adds a little bit something, something a little bit more in this also. You could definitely dress it up like with these earrings, some black denim and booties, and like a black leather jacket if you want to go all black. And I like wearing all black sometimes. Um, or you could definitely, like I said with the other one, just put a cardigan on and make it super casual. So this is what the front looks like. And then the back is just a plain like tank top kind of back. Yeah, I really like this. I thought it would be just like a good basic for going back to school. Um, very versatile okay so next are these pants they are from exhilaration and they were $16.99 but like 25% off and I was wearing them when I was getting ready this morning and got mascara all over them so that's super fun but I just wanted to show them to you guys because they are so comfortable um I really like the lilac color and they've got pockets which is great and I kind of like this like paper bag waist style they got going on here make it a little more something a little bit more than just, you know, sweatpants. And they have kind of like a thick um, band at the bottom that's not like super, super tight. And they're pretty lightweight, but also like they're not super see-through. And I'm wearing a size small in these. I definitely could have worn an extra small if I wanted to, but I like that they are a little bit on the baggier side. So then this is the last thing. It is just this black plain dress. Let me put it down a little bit. So as you can see, the bottom kind of has this like bubble hem to it, which at first I didn't love because it's kind of like a lot of bubble, but I figured that if I really end up not liking it, I can cut here and then just like finish the edges so that it's just kind of like a ruffle and not necessarily a bubble. I feel like I had a bubble dress like this when I was in like sixth grade that one of my friend's sister had given me. So it kind of <laughs> gives me that vibe, but I feel like it's cute. It just adds like a little bit something more to just a plain black dress. And then the neckline is just a straight black neck. It has a little bit of a pucker here. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that, but it doesn't really bother me that much. So it's just like a little bit looser and it is fairly tight, which <laughs> I don't normally love but since it's black I can work with it and it was $12 so I figured I could get some use out of it so that's everything I bought oh my gosh there was this one overall dress it was like an overall skirt thing that was so freaking cute but I got it like I tried it on in an extra small and the straps were so so big which I definitely probably could have figured um like I could have sewn them like cut a little bit off and sewn them but like it was literally like that much too big it was an extra small so i was so confused um maybe it's made for like longer torso people so if you're a long torso person definitely check it out i'll like insert the clip while i'm talking about it but it was so cute it was kind of the color of that top but it was like a corduroy material ish i believe it was no more than like 26 dollars, which i think is a really good deal so maybe i'll have to go back and get that and try that out so i'm going to include the rest of the stuff that i tried on sorry about my phone the rest of the stuff that I tried on right now so that you guys can kind of see like what else they had. Some of this stuff I just didn't love or didn't look great on me, but definitely could be your style.
let me know if you guys like this style of haul better than like showing it and then showing a clip of it of me having it on where I like talk about it while I have it on um yeah let me know or if you just want me to like show you the clothes whatever so definitely go check out this line while you're at Target next time I think it's got some really cute pieces and even if like retro stuff isn't your style because it's not necessarily my style I found a bunch of really cute stuff that can be great for transitional so make sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. I would love it if you guys stuck around. And I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.